Are you surprised? <laughs> I am. Yoga. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Say, who's that cute boy? Who's that cute boy? <laughs> Who's that cute boy? Who's that cute boy? Is that mama's angel? What's going on guys? Happy Sunday. Jason and I are getting ready to go for a walk. He's getting a little anxious, but I wanted to take a minute to share something with you. This video is sponsored by She Said Yes Jewelry, and I wanted to share with you the stunning ring that they gifted me. As you guys know, I'm a single woman. I'm a single lady. And I, to be honest, don't foresee myself getting married again. If it happens, I am open to it. But if it doesn't happen, I still want to wear a beautiful ring. And since I have kind of, I guess you could say, re-engaged myself to Jesus, since I had Jace over this last couple years, my relationship with him has really grown to a level that is so much deeper than it has ever been. And you know, I thought this was a perfect collaboration because like I am recommitting myself to Jesus and I wanna be able to wear a beautiful ring and this is perfect. So I'm gonna share with you guys this gorgeous ring that they have gifted me. And this is what I think. If you are a single woman, especially of my age, I'm in my 40s, then don't wait for a man to get you a ring. If you feel like you want a beautiful engagement ring, buy it for yourself. These are gorgeous rings that are lab-created diamonds. So I've always said, if I were to get married again, I would want a lab-created diamond. And these are beautiful. Masonite, I believe, is the name of the diamond or the jewel. And they are lab-created diamonds that are absolutely stunning, super easy to take care of. This is literally the exact ring that I would want from someone if I were to ever get married again. So if you're like me and you want to have a beautiful ring for yourself to kind of signify your relationship with Jesus, if you're not waiting on a man, then the link for this particular ring is in the description box as well as the ring for the website in general so you can browse and see what other gorgeous pieces they have. And you can use the code SHANA15 for 15% off of your entire order. The rings are absolutely stunning and you will not be disappointed. So now my baby is getting really anxious, so we're gonna go ahead and go on our walk. But I wanted to share this with you because I know that I'm not alone. I know a lot of women my age who are still single and who have just committed their lives to Jesus. And why, don't, why can't we have a beautiful ring to wear as well? Every woman wants a beautiful piece of jewelry to signify something important. So this is my promise, my, my grown up adult promise ring to Jesus. And that is the one love that will last forever and now jace is really ready to go so you are really ready to go come and say hi <laughs> you tell him you're ready to go you say let's go mama let's go mama i'm mama what's going on guys it is the day of the eclipse and i'm very excited um, I've been trying to like set up my camera and stuff so I could put a filter on it and try to catch it. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try. So as you can see, if you can tell around me, it's a little bit dusky. So it's almost complete. We've got about 10, 16, 10 to 16 more minutes before the totality. So I'm really excited. I have always, always, always wanted to see this. And I'm so excited that we get to see it from our balcony, like I'm, I'm just stoked. So I have my glasses, mom is behind me, Jace is behind me, I'm not gonna show them because I don't know if she wants to be on camera, I don't think she does, so. Um, but we're all out here, all our, my neighbors and stuff are out and it's just cool that everyone's enjoying God's majesty as we <laughs> are waiting for it to uh, complete here, but we're getting close got my glasses i know all of you guys who are in the line of totality are going to be enjoying it too and yeah that's what we're doing and i just wanted to share it so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's dark so much darker <laughs> than it looks on camera i wonder if you can see it on here can you see it? 
you can't even really see how awesome it is on camera. today I'm struggling today because I usually struggle on Mondays because I miss my baby I struggle because like Sunday nights I don't always sleep well because I always like at least as of late I wake up in the middle of the night just like bing wide awake and I've been taking advantage of that time just praying and reading the Bible and things like that. But I just like, I don't know, last night specifically, I just had such major anxiety. Leaving Jace is so hard for me. Like I struggle so hard with it and it just makes me so sad. Like I hate leaving him and I know he's in good hands and I don't take that for granted. Like I'm so grateful. For my circumstances and the fact that I have my mom to be able to watch him like that is so like it just gives me peace to know that he's taken care of and he's with my mom but I just just me like I just feel like part of my soul is ripped away you know what I mean and I know I know some of you will understand that and some of you might think that's dramatic but for me it is it's gut-wrenching and so I just felt really sad today like I feel like crying honestly because I don't like leaving my baby. But here we are, gotta pay the bills. So I'm at, at the salon right now. Um, it is mm, about noon, so I'm waiting for my next client. And yeah, it's been a good day so far here. I mean, it's been good, but it's just really hard to be away from him. So I'm just, I, I, I really struggle with that every single week, I do. I really, really, really do. Plus, all last night, I couldn't sleep for like two and a half hours. I could not sleep. I just kept praying and rebuking the enemy and, you know, praising God for how good he is to me because he is so good to me. Like, no matter what, he is so good to me. So, th these emotions, and this is just part of life, and I think that that's something that I feel like a lot of people forget. Like, especially when you live for the Lord, like, you're going to have a lot, a lot of moments that are heavy and difficult but that's why we have Christ so that he can carry us and to carry us through these times and I have to constantly remind myself that like whenever I feel anxiety if I begin to feel maybe a little depressed or if I feel like just that weight that heaviness then I have to remember like God is in control so yeah so I didn't fall back asleep. I, I woke up at like 1.15, I think it was. I looked at the time. I didn't fall back asleep until like 3.30-ish. Because Jace ended up waking up and was just like, he was like, he stood up and started talking to me and like, <laughs> he was wide awake. And it took him a while to like really get sleepy again. So that was actually kind of comforting for me because I was able to like talk with him and you know snuggle with him which we snuggle all night anyway but I was able to snuggle with him and be able to talk to him and you know he was looking at me and I was looking at him and we were able to you know just have like a sweet moment but uh, and that actually brought me a lot of comfort because I actually miss him when he's sleeping I know it's weird maybe it's weird no it's not weird I think that's the way it should be I miss my baby when he's sleeping and so when he woke up it was just like oh my little stinky mm, it was so comforting and then we both fell asleep around 3 30 ish I think it was and then I had to wake up at 4 30 so I didn't really I don't feel like I slept that well last night plus I had some really weird dreams I slept peaches was in my dream last night I really miss my fur babies and I was just thinking about them too. And like, I just, it was just a weird night. You know what I mean? Like it was just one of those weird nights that was 
just emotional for not really much of any reason. Like, I think just, I think what triggered it is the fact that I knew that like I had to leave Jace in the morning and it's a long day today. So it just makes me sad, it's hard for me. It's really hard for me to leave him. But anywho, today's still a good day. The weather is absolutely amazing again. So I'm really, really grateful for that. And I'm just taking this time right now while I'm waiting on my client to edit a little bit. And I'm going to get that hopefully done today so I can schedule it to post tomorrow. So if you're seeing this, I'm all caught up. So if you're seeing this on April 16th of 2024, you're seeing my day yesterday, which was Monday, April 15th, 2024. Are you surprised? I am. I'm caught up y'all. And I didn't vlog, I haven't vlogged in a little while because I wanted to catch up. Anyway, I'm just gonna get ready for my client, turn the radio back on because I didn't wanna get flagged for copyright reasons. I One of the things about Mondays that I love is I'm able to turn on Christian music. When I'm here with one of the other stylists, Carol, she loves Christian music as well. So when we're here together on Mondays, we turn it on to, it's called Spirit 95 here in Monroe County. And we're able to listen to Christian music all day, which is so, I mean, it really changes the energy listening to godly music. Cause I do not, I do not like listening to secular music. It is so heavy, especially the newest, the newer song, like the older songs. I'm not gonna lie. There are some jams sometimes that come on every now and then. Like, cause they have like at, at noon, they have retro lunch hour and that's all the stuff I grew up with. You know what I mean? Like all the stuff that we grew up with, y'all folks that are a little bit older. And that's my favorite, not gonna lie. Not over Christian music, but it's my favorite on the secular music station. But then when the new stuff comes on, like all this Doja, like, ugh. It's just pure demonic garbage. Like I can't even take it. Like the stuff that is in this last couple years is so purely and obviously and openly and almost proudly demonic. Like I can't even, I can't even. I don't even want that stuff grace. I don't even want that stuff entering my ears. So it makes it a little more challenging, but whatever, I'm protected by the Lord. So here we are. Anywho. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm going to get back to work, but I wanted to hop on, say what's up. Don't forget to shop my shop on Etsy, you guys, and support my business. This is a new one that I made. I made a bunch of necklaces like this that I'm gonna get ready to post. I don't know if you can really see, but they're basically, there's a mustard seed in there, but there are flowers and gold leaf in there. And then the mustard seeds in the middle with the, the colored background. And I have different colors too, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna take some photos of these this week, some really nice photos of these this week and get them loaded on my Etsy. So I would really appreciate the support. Those of you who did purchase already, if you wouldn't mind um, giving me a review, it really helps my business. And yeah, you guys have been really awesome and supportive and I'm really excited about this, like this one, I really enjoy creating these pieces. Like it really, it is a it is an emotional outlet for me to be able to make these pieces and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm praying that this business do grow and that I get more orders. So we'll see what happens. But I have faith even as small as a mustard seed. And as we know, faith even as small as a mustard seed can move mountains. So that's what we're praying for. Anyway guys, love you. I'll see you later.